Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Good morning to uh, everyone. Uh, sorry for uh, late uh, that I have uh, some sort of work. Anyway, uh, today. Uh, uh, hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Anyway, I think uh, in yesterday's lecture, uh, I have covered a few uh, points um, which are included in uh, unit first, but I tried my level best to complete unit first uh, within the uh, stipulated time, but uh, it was not. Sorry, units. Sorry, aspects included in uh, unit number one. Uh, it was not possible for me to complete in yesterday's lecture. Anyway, today we will complete unit one at any how, at any cost, uh, we have to complete unit first. Uh, that you uh, know the title of the unit first. Uh, that is uh, meaning, importance, and objective of business communication. That is a A part, part A, or division A. And in B part, we have a written communication. So uh, let us uh, first of all uh, complete the A part, part A, um, uh, having uh, the remaining elements uh, in which we, uh, uh, today's session we will have um, process of communication. Uh, am I, uh, I, I, do you remember uh, which one point I, uh, uh, in the last lecture, completed the last element, the last aspect? Students, Ajinka Ashish. Intrapersonal communication and interpersonal communication. Uh -huh. It means uh, that uh, I think I, I have uh, dealt with um, uh, forms of communication. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I right? Yes. The forms of communication uh, is already uh, completed. Uh, so in today's session, we will uh, go to the process of communication. The process of communication is uh, some elements element uh, included in uh, unit number one. So let us see uh, how when we people uh, talk or when we people uh, speak or uh, converse or any type of um, communication we do take or try to initiate uh, exactly what happens with us. We communicate means what exactly we communicate or why uh, we have to go uh, with the certain uh, stages uh, while or during communicating uh, with uh, uh, your uh, target group or with the uh, receiver or whoever may be. So let us see the process of communication. So what is the, the important or the significant role of a process in communication? Okay. Can we have to uh, stick to process or without process we have to go uh, through communication? That is the question mark to us uh, before us. So the process of communication refers taken to communicate effectively. So in order to make your communication in an effective way, uh, the, the, that you, if you want to make your communication in, uh, 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 effective, the process. Process means here nothing but a, the stages that uh, one has to go. Through these stages, stages, one has to complete his or her communication. So. <coughs> These steps are called components or elements of communication that we know what are the components or elements of communication or let us see uh, now uh, one by one. Uh, there are few com components or elements which are uh, 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 um, a must, which are a must that we have to advocate uh, during in the time of our communication. 
so the process of communication is initiated by a sender that you know very well i think so without sender you can uh, there is no uh, process uh, beginning of the process or initiation of the process of communication so sender is very important in uh, the communication process as we have seen uh, that uh, it is a two way communication so sender and receiver so sender may be an individual sender may be a group or sender may be an organization that we have already studied uh, while studying um, definition of uh, communication so sender initiated uh, by a, sorry uh, the process of communication is initiated by a sender of the message by a sender of the message who has an idea or information who has an idea or information emotions feelings whatever it may be which he encodes which he encodes um, in the words figures and symbols or many more whatever the you uh, like i mean whatever the sender like to include like to encode during uh, his preparation of a message so words emotions feelings are converted into a, a symbol that that we call here a encode or encoding the process and transmit it through some channel or medium transmit it through some channel or medium so you look at the here the, the point which made by uh, the uh, the author or the, the the points or the aspects which are very uh, important each and every aspect is important here you cannot and will not remove or withdraw any aspect or stage during the process of communication so sender is very important here then the sender what happens with him he tried to prepare a message when sender the sender wanted to deliver his message he tried he, he, he should be there then he tried his level best to uh, prepare his message after preparing message that he has to encode the message he has to encode the message so encoding is the third step or stage in the process of communication so uh, the, 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 the channel after encoding he selects the medium or channel the appropriate medium or channel should be there should be there through which he can transmit his message to the receiver so who in turn back when he transmits or transforms his message to the receiver in turns back means that after reading after decoding the message it is the receiver who gives feedback to the receiver or he sends the feedback to the uh, sender then only the communication process uh, uh, is known as a complete process okay so how many aspects are there in the communication process the first one is sender second is message third one is encoding fourth one is medium or channel uh, fifth one is receiver uh, then the, the decoding uh, system is there or stage is there and the last one a stage or uh, element is feedback so feedback is very important element that is the, though it is uh, in the last position uh, without feedback we cannot and will not uh, the, uh, say that uh, the, the communication is a complete one okay so so who is sender or how he conceives the message sorry how he uh, uh, conceives the message at the very outset uh, when he would like to communicate with uh, his uh, the, the, any any, any um, uh, a member or he may be with any mass or any anything so sender here you should just uh, uh, justify him uh, uh, saying that sender is nobody but a uh, the person who sends the message and prepare the message means after preparing the message he sends the message at the first part, you you should also involve you should just imagine that whenever you talk with your you know, any any um, person before that what happens with you people you tries to consume what would be the appropriate message that i have to deliver with my uh, receiver or whoever may be standing before you whoever may be using your mobile uh, uh, that, that that i mean in, in, in the form of community uh, mobile um, call or it may be in the form of uh, a, um, a book so and so thing so the sender is one who sends the message the sender may be a person or a speaker maybe a person it may include a speaker it may include a, 
um, writer, it may include an actor, it may include a, a superior or a subordinate, or whoever may be. Whoever wants to deliver his message to the particular person, all are included in a sender. So what happens? Some, some, sometimes sender may be a receiver and sometimes receiver may be a sender. So there is a vice versa system is available in the communication process. So it doesn't merely mean that the sender always or often play a role of sender until the, the end of the process. So there is a vice versa the system is available in this process. So the sender is the source and one who initiates the communication process. He is the only sender who initiates the process of communication. Uh, uh, the sender formulates the message which he wants to convey uh, and selects the medium for transmitting it. The sender is the initiator of communication process. Okay, and I think I hope now you uh, might have understood uh, the, the concept of sender. So you just imagine that whenever you uh, uh, try to uh, deliver your message, what type of role you play in that position. Then only you can um, quickly uh, immediately understand uh, the concept of sender. So in the communication process, sender is uh, the foremost uh, in the process. Later, you, as I told you, uh, uh, the message. This is also a very important aspect or element in communication process. Message is what is to be conveyed to the receiver. It is the subject matter of communication. You can say subject matter of communication. You know, you, you just imagine that whenever you uh, in the WhatsApp, WhatsApp group, uh, through the WhatsApp or through the Facebook, uh, type some sort of message. All these uh, um, the message SMS are included in a message or call it as a, a message. It is the content that the sender wants to convey to the receiver. The intended message is converted into message that uh, the sender wanted to deliver to the receiver. So it may include the ideas information that, as I told you people in, 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 the, in the definition that uh, communication is an exchange of ideas, thoughts, feelings, information, knowledge, etc. So here knowledge, information, feelings, emotions, all these things are, are aspects are known as a uh, the elements of message. Okay. So when you type something or prepare or draft all the draft or preparation is known as a message that you intended to deliver the, your message through uh, selecting the message through selecting the proper channel uh, that you do it. So it is the main body of the communication. It is the main body of the communication. Just like you, you just imagine whenever you write a letter, in, in letters we have a number of elements, but the main body is very important in the letter. So same thing happens here in the communication process. Uh, a message is known as a main body in which you stop uh, the, your intended uh, information, your intended um, knowledge, your intended feelings, your intended um, uh, thoughts, ideas, all these things are known as a message. Okay, but the, the, the only thing is that you have to prepare it in a proper uh, uh, way so that it can be uh, known as, uh, as a, a message. Okay. That is the second one point. Uh, later, you will see that encoding. While preparing, uh, one has to encode. Encoding um, here uh, for the purpose of transmission of message, the sender converts or encodes the message into a series of words. Into a series of words, figures, pictures, colors, etc. That we can call here converts, you know, transmitting or converts, um, converting a method. So pictures may be used in in your uh, message. Figures may be used in your uh, message. Uh, sometimes whenever you speak with in, in a oral way, uh, your touch is also known as, uh, or to some extent, your body language is also, or limbs of body is also known as a uh, 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 encode a system or encoding elements for uh, conveying the message. It's the language, visuals, numbers, signs, sounds, and gestures, etc. So our users, which are known as a symbols. The process of putting the ideas or information, that is message, into symbolic form is known as an encoding. I can understand here, the process of putting the ideas or information into symbolic form is known as an encoding. And the symbolic forms means words are also known as a symbol, symbols. 
any picture if you use in your uh, sms or in, in your message it is also known as a encoding any color any gestures in oral, oral, oral communication any sound any signs all are included as a uh, encoding the elements that is encoding so he pre he prepared he encodes his message in a specific language that language should be a, a, a easy one a simple one to understand uh, the receiver however it depends on who are your receiver so according to the knowledge of receiver you people have to prepare or have to encode uh, your message so that the receiver can easily understand okay that is the third step so when you speak when you talk when you deliver your the community deliver your message while delivering your message you do go uh, you people uh, always or often go with these elements with these steps but we, we people are always unaware of uh, unconscious about this one process we do it but we don't know what are the elements that involve uh, in uh, the process of communication if you, you uh, withdraw some sort of the elements from this process you cannot and will not in a well manner uh, uh, to deliver your message to the receiver so that there may be emerge uh, barriers in your communication because if you uh, the, uh, excuse if you leave uh, something uh, or someone parts or elements of these stages okay then you will have a medium or channel after preparing uh, the message it is the stage that you have to choose appropriate channel you have to choose appropriate channel suppose if you want to communicate with your um, uh, friend uh, who is at present live, uh, staying in america you wanted to deliver your message quickly and wanted to uh, have a feedback from your uh, friend very immediately there is no time so which one method is uh, appropriate one for you people while communicating with your friend the only thing is that uh, the only communication uh, will be uh, useful uh, will be effective one that is a phone call so that's a phone call uh, is, uh, is the medium of your uh, medium or channel of your communication so appropriate channel should be uh, uh, selected should be chosen by uh, the sender for all it is the sender who is sending the message so he has to choose he has to he has to select which one is appropriate and which one is not appropriate suppose if you wanted to deliver your message uh, uh, to uh, the, the the farmers who are known as a uh, illiterate so which one method is appropriate the only oral or face to uh, sorry uh, oral uh, is very important uh, uh, medium or if uh, you can use also uh, a phone call is also very important medium instead of choosing uh, any email communication or any whatsapp uh, uh, medium because they are the illiterate person so appropriate channel uh, uh, works uh, effective way uh, while delivering delivering your message so the medium or channel is the path through which the encoded encoded message is transmitted but the modern so the medium or channel is the path this is the way path means in that sense this is the way through which the encoded message is transmitted to the receiver so without medium you cannot send suppose if you wanted to write letters you know antardeshiya patra vagare manu that that we people once used to post in post uh, uh, post office the such type of letters are also known as a medium so it may be in the written form there are some sort of variety or variations in uh, medium or channels uh, it may be in the written form it may be a uh, face to face in, in oral communication it face to face is included in in written communication uh, the uh, different types of uh, mails uh, uh, letters are included uh, telephone that i just uh, uh, told you people mobile as is a very important medium a fax is also very important medium whenever you would like to take some sort of legal document documentation you have to send the fax is also a very effective one um, uh, message sorry medium or channel most of the times in offices uh, the, 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 the particular channel is used so letters newspaper is also important channel magazines posters reports internet radio tv video and what not so all these things are known as a a uh, medium or channel suppose if you wanted to um, uh, advertise your uh, product 
in a very effective way and you wanted to reach unto the last in order to sell your maximum uh, uh, goods consignment or whatever it may be so then nowadays the electronic media that is uh, tv is very effective uh, medium or mode or the, the effective channel that one has to choose and you know the number of type of, of advertisement that we daily watch on tv even you can see whenever you, you uh, uh, surfing uh, internet you will have, you have also a number of types of advertisement so these the mediums are known as effective uh, mediums nowadays uh, but after all it depends on you people who are your target group who are to whom you are sending a, a message then i mean uh, who are your receiver is very important so accordingly uh, uh, the target group or the receiver you have to select uh, the appropriate channel okay so later we will see uh, so then we have uh, a receiver as a who, we, who is receiver the person who receives the message is known as a receiver it is a simple one so receiver is someone to whom the message is sent by a sender so someone to whom message is sent the receiver may be a superior may be a subordinate may be a, 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 a lower level designation person a peer maybe your friend uh, maybe any person in the organization to whom you to whom you are working there so the message is meant for the receiver and stands at the other end of the communication process stands on the other end of the communication process so if we have a two parts or two division of polar a side and b side a side is known as a center side and b side is known as a receiver side so a and b whenever a communicate with b uh, here the b is known as a receiver and when he wanted to send his message these uh, big bees big um, uh, quickly converted as a sender because it is a, the, the two way process so here uh, you see that receiver is someone to whom the message is sent the message is meant for the receiver and stands at the other end of communication process the receiver may be a listener a viewer or a reader whoever may be he may be a reader he may be a viewer he may be um, a listener okay now i think you you people have got my point uh, regarding receiver so th th this is a important stage and uh, the, 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 after receiving the re message from the sender now it is the role of receiver that the decoding system is related to uh, our concerns concerns to uh, receiver so after all having received uh, the message he has to decode it decoding in, in that sense that he has to understand it that is decoding refers to uh, interpreting or uh, comprehending the message received from its sender so the decoding means nothing, nothing but here the, the, in other words we can say the uh, uh, receiver always pursues the message pursues in that sense that he decodes the message he tries to understand in his own uh, words in his own language that is comprehension so it is and concern with understanding the message for a communication to be effective for a communication to be effective the message has to be it wants it wants its receiver to understand so the, the receiver's role is very important here the, the whatever the intention is there intention of sender is there that inten intention should be uh, understood by a receiver so his uh, the understanding level his comprehension level is very important here therefore the symbols should be the similar or common to both the sender and the receiver of message after all, after all one is uh, preparing here and one is reading here one is trying to understand it so the receiver decodes and understands the message by listening reading or giving it so when you watch tv there are some serials you know in serials we have some sort of moral lessons didactic purposes there so and so there so while watching serials or while watching any any movie or any uh, advertisement it after all it, it depends on you people i mean the, it depends on the receiver uh, how he or she could get the meaning or pursues the meaning whatever the sender tries to send it in his uh, language so and so okay 
that is a decoding so decoding system related or concerns to the receiver and encoding system or stage related to or concerns to the sender so that is the major difference decoding and encoding so whenever we talk whenever we deliver our message we always stick to these stages but the only thing is that we don't know how it happens that is why we are studying here by having some stages or elements of communication process but one has to go in this way that one cannot uh, get relief from these stages okay now the last one uh, element in communication process involves is uh, involved in, in this process is feedback it is a very important uh, element until and unless uh, the sender receives the feedback from the receiver the communication process is not known as a complete process as i told you so in order to come in order to complete the communication process uh, uh, the sender must receive um, I mean, as I say here, sender must receive feedback from the receiver. Even if you wanted to exercise it, if you want to know it, whenever you buy some sort of product, on product you see that uh, there is a right feedback, right, uh, uh, right, any, 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 any observation, any, any opinion. In this way, we have some sort of instruction on each and every product. And after all, it depends on the company. Who wanted to uh, experiment they, they always give a space to a feedback from uh, the customers so customers here in their sense that customers are the receiver and the particular companies company is known as a sender so if, the, the, you, if you give your feedback regarding the quality of product and if they receive sometimes whenever they wanted to survey regarding their qualities regarding their product uh, the such companies always uh, the, the, are often uh, manage to give a space on the particular uh, product so that is known as a, a feedback here the sender must ensure himself or herself as to whether the message has reached the target receivers or not and whether the message has been accepted or not so after all it is the only feedback through which the sender can uh, understand that his message is reached to the receiver otherwise he, he can't get any idea if there is no uh, a system of feedback so feedback play a very crucial role in the in the in the, in the stage of uh, communication process so it is known as feedback which is given by the receiver after interpreting the message so who gives a feedback it is the only receiver after understanding the message he gives uh, uh, feedback to the sender so that is the last one of uh, the stage in the communication process it is utterly necessary to ensure that the message has been uh, correctly decoded. The message has been correctly decoded because the understanding is very important in, in, in sending um, the message. So after all, uh, feedback depends on understanding level of the receiver. So if he uh, understands it in, in a very correct way that the center intends to uh, 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 reach to the uh, customer or the receiver, it depends on only a feedback. Anyway, so this is the last one uh, uh, stage. Thus, the feedback is the last step in the communication process, which is essential to ensure that the target receiver has received, interpreted, and understood the message as per the intention of the sender. Okay, this is the last stage. So there are seven elements or seven stages, you can say, uh, through which you um, uh, try to uh, deliver your message, try to communicate with your receiver. Okay who are they just one second remember yourself that the sender message encoding medium of channel uh receiver decoding and last one is feedback okay and then uh, now let us see uh, after um, uh, sending the message and having a feedback um, from the receiver uh, sometimes what happens uh, with the receiver or sometimes uh, also happens with sender uh, that there may be uh, some sort of barriers emerge during the communication process uh, during the communication or during the sending the um, uh, intended message to the receiver so sometimes it happens because the, the, due to the uh, the variations in culture due to the variations in tradition due to the variation in channel due to the uh, uh, the, the, the other thing like including uh, a language that whether the particular receivers receiver known known or not so and so uh, because of a thing or even you can include a physical or the environment elements are also important 
in communication if there uh, is uh, something wrong in environment or it may be a mechanical it may be a physical it may be a language level it may be a psychological level so you, you cannot uh, deliver uh, or you, you cannot achieve the, uh, the uh, desired output from uh, the receiver because of the barriers so barriers uh, the needs to resolve but one has to know what type of barriers he uh, uh, she uh, possess in uh, his or her personality so it includes sender as well as receiver so both both sides both sides are very important here uh, so that they can understand their uh, individual level uh, barriers suppose if you, you are a very poor in language language in that sense that the english language especially we will consider here because our medium is english one uh, so if you are very poor in the language you, you cannot uh, understand uh, in a effective in, in a very um, the, the, the intended way that the sender sends the message to you because of a poor language you you, you understand it you understand it you comprehend it so if you are poor in grammar level again there may be a problem if you, you are very poor in uh, vocabulary again there may be a problem so such type of hindrances or obstacles emerge during the time of communication process during the time of uh, uh, communication or while interpreting the message so all these things are known as a communication barriers so the, it may be a the psychological level barriers it may be a physical level barriers it may be a semantic level barriers that i just told you regarding the language interpretation so and so forth so let us see uh, in, a, in, a, in a brief way uh, what type of uh, barriers are there and how one has to uh, the, the overcome it overcome on uh, these uh, barriers so that the effective um, the output uh, one can get if he or she resolve uh, the barriers that emerge during the uh, period of uh, communication so every message is communicated through a certain language the language is very important here so let us see uh, sorry let us see first of all the, the meaning of uh, barriers so sometimes the message is not well transmitted to the target group or target receivers yeah, just i told you people if the receiver is very poor in in in, in the language level or psychological level or the, any other environmental level uh, the, the sender cannot achieve the desired um, uh, uh, output from or expect sender cannot expect a desired output from the receiver or the flow of communication is obstructed or impeded or blocked either partial or completely look at this statement sometimes the message is not well transmitted to the target receivers or the receiver or the flow of communication is obstructed or impeded or blocked either partial or completely completely is known as a barrier or just to say obstacles hindrances are known as a barriers this may be a cause due to a number of factors as i told you a number of factors are responsible uh, they there uh, but one has to identify whatever factors are there uh, which are known as barriers to communication the following uh, uh, there are uh, there are some uh, elements there are uh, uh, some variations that we have to study here to know uh, what type of barriers are there and uh, uh, how they hinder or obstacle uh, during the time of communication so let us see first of all semantic level of barriers semantic or language barriers you, you may say so so your message is communicated through a certain language the language is the most important medium uh, through which one can uh, uh, send the message the language may be uh, why i am saying here language because we have uh, also non verbal com communication system is also uh, there sometimes in oral uh, communication we use uh, some uh, bo body uh, the structure of body structures or limbs of body to convey our message sometimes second what happens the second is also convey some sort of meaning the pat on uh, someone is also convey some sort of conveys some sort of meaning so uh, here the, the lang in language Uh, the, the message the language is very important so the language may be creates a semantic that is regarding meaning level syntactic that is regarding grammar level as i already discussed with vocabulary level grammar level 
uh, uh, interpreting uh, meaning of language uh, it may be a pronunciation problem it may be a, a tone intonation or linguistic level or regarding dialect dialectics level jo boli bhasha se manto in marathi so these are some important um, elements that always involve in a language so if one is uh, 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 well if one uh, has a, a command over uh, the language he may not any uh, he may not he may not get any uh, uh, problem or barriers in uh, semantic level okay so th there may be a different meaning of the same word in different languages that include in semantic level the language barriers can arise in various ways uh, uh, that we have to see here in which way uh, sometimes we face uh, uh, while interpreting a language so in language the semantic level the language difference you know the language which is unfamiliar to the receiver creates barrier in effective communication so he understands to some extent uh, there uh, definitely he will uh, have uh, some sort of barriers if he is a very poor in uh, language suppose english is a foreign language and sometimes what happens some people or some st students or customers can't understand in in a full uh, uh, way they know english but if uh, the, the sender uses some sort of difficult words or complex or standard um, the, the, uh, language in his message uh, there may be a uh, sort of barriers emerge because of such of the the, the, uh, the standard language or complex words can uh, be stood here as a hindrance or obstacles for example if the message is communicated in tamil language to a marathi speaking person he cannot understand anything and the communication will fail so it, it, this is the another level uh, example that you know, the, the, we have to see here so all uh, certainly no one can understand if the tamil language uh, uh, he doesn't know if you are a marathi speaker and the, the message is uh, you receive a message from tamil or kannada or any other language because of that language you are not familiar with them such languages so definitely the language barrier emerge uh, a variety of meaning you know that is also some in the uh, sub points in, in a semantic level the same word in the same language may have a different meaning which may obstruct or issue uh, the receiver from understanding the proper meaning of a message uh, a badly expressed message is also the uh, faulty translations are also important here faulty translation you know nowadays we have a google translation sometimes what happens some people or some authority or the, the, the person who do doesn't know uh, the art or skill of uh, tra uh, trans uh, translation he always nowadays using a google translation but the, 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 it is not a identical translation that you intended but okay, sometimes the, the people always use the google translation and they send uh, this translated um, uh, message to the receiver so while from the google translation there are a number of uh, problems emerge maybe a traditional level it may be a cultural level it may be a dialectical level so after all that is a artificial mechanism artificial, artificial intelligence the google translation is is one of the, of the elements of uh, artificial intelligence it is not a identical translation uh, that uh, the google does whatever nowadays we people use it so because of the translation well, uh, maybe a language barrier emerge okay uh, 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 use of jargon or technical language jargon is the profession specific language which cannot be properly understood by those who are not conversant uh, with that profession uh, for example the word lo has a different meaning for a plumber and an orthopedic elbow you know elbow e l b o w elbow orthopedic in that in the medical jargon elbow is known as you know it is a limbs of uh, body elbow that you have everyone uh, have uh, pages Uh, the elbow but the, the same elbow uh, uh, will be a uh, convey a different meaning for a uh, diplomber so such type of the, the jargon, jargon or technical language is also there if one uh, has uh, well associated with all these uh, uh, language level or uh, words then only he or she can understand uh, any message so overall uh, the the command on command over language is very important so that there may not be emerge any a uh, semantic level uh, barrier okay so it is considered uh, it is assumed that 
the english medium students uh, uh, have a good um, knowledge or uh, they uh, have a, a command on english so they, they they may not have such type of any semantic level barriers but the marathi medium students uh, uh, what happen, what happens with marathi medium students uh, they, they are uh, considered as a poor in a language english language especially so there may be a emerge a such type of semantic level barriers uh, if he or she is known as a receiver okay so all these things should be considered preparing a message uh, output uh, from uh, your issuer to how to know while preparing uh, your message all these things so all these things should be consulted yeah sir goes to me kai kela pahije lakshat anunas you have to prepare your message so let us see physical or environmental barriers in this uh, the barrier type uh, type uh, you you are in fact you are not directly responsible for uh, the, this one uh, type of uh, types of uh, this one type of barrier the barriers caused due to some technical issues or uh, disturbances in um, surroundings environment where you people uh, do stay or live are known as physical or environmental uh, barriers I, i as i told you that you are not responsible directly uh, to uh, such type of uh, barriers but uh, uh, without having any intention you people do fail to understand uh, during the period of uh, communication because if you if you are hearing or listening um, a speech uh, from your uh, orator uh, from your uh, lecturer or uh, teacher and uh, and the school is uh, located uh, near uh, the main highway so what happens with you people you cannot gauge each and every word in a clear way or articulated way so there there may not be articulation in uh, the, the, the the sound though the speaker uh, has a, a very uh, skillfully use his uh, language so uh, say in, in during the period we have such type of barriers for example a noise you know it is uh, the major barrier to communication for example noise caused due to crowd traffic suppose if you are studying in your own home and your house is also located in a crowded area what happens with you people uh, noise always there so um, uh, uh, horn blow, uh, blowing uh, during the time of uh, traffic uh, opening and closing of door uh, loud music trains etc so creates some sort of hurdle in proper communication suppose you are communicating with uh, through, through the medium of uh, phone cell phone Uh, uh during the communication uh, with your receiver uh, you may uh, receiver may not have uh, your word in a proper way because of the noise uh, which hinders uh, during the time of communication okay you people um, might have already experienced such type of um, hindrances or physical barriers during the time of communication whenever you speak to your uh, friend or whoever may be so later you will see that and defective instruments you know that you are you, you are giving your speech it may be a, a prepared one it may be a spontaneous speech but you are giving the speech uh, and a number of students are there being the receiver they are having your uh, speech in a good way but suddenly what happens with you people your mic has a, some sort of a, a, a problem so the mechanical or technical defects in the instrument here the mic is an instrument that you are using here to de deliver your speech but sometimes it happens it creates a sort of a large uh, a, a sound you know a number of times we 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 experienced it so um, uh, uh, in the instrument used for communication hampers its effectiveness sometimes you are you are some words few words may not um, uh, uh, achieve uh, or may not get by uh, the receivers um, so for example faulty fax machine is also important here you know the fax machine is an instrument that is a medium that we already seen it if there is some sort of problem uh, you may not send the all the, the, the words that you uh, typed so humming in telephone also is important hanging of a computer is also a very important thing no range to cell phone technical problem in make and speaker a poor instead connectivity wireless or malware attack and so on so on so forth so all these things are included in uh, to a um, uh, defective instruments so in defective instrument you are not responsible for um, your communication 
but we have to take care about all these things that thinking that may be a such type of problem emerge in our instrument so before and communicating uh, with your receiver you have to ensure it that whether they are working in a proper way or not then only you can um, communicate okay so in this way you can resolve the problem knowing what type of instrument is there whether it it, it, it would create some sort of barriers during the time of communication or not so all these should be uh, uh, known before beginning communication so different time zones are also important the, the, the thing in our communication different time zones the geographical distance is also a very important factor in communication barrier geographical uh, distance okay suppose if you want to uh, communicate uh, with your friend a uh, face to face way uh, through the face to face medium and but the distance is far away from your receiver but you wanted to communicate because you have you don't have any other instrument that you would like to use in order to communicate with your friend suppose you you, you have a mobile but you you forgotten it uh, in your room and then you find that there is no is standing far away from you people but only he can uh, see your gestures your body language or very rarely uh, the, 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 he, he, he will receive uh, your uh, sound so such type of geographical distance may uh, uh, hinder uh, our uh, your uh, communication so wrong medium is also important thing here wrong medium if you use a wrong medium as i told you while uh, giving you example of uh, barriers uh, sorry preparing in a message Uh, in the process of um, uh, communication, uh, that if you, your receiver is a illiterate person and you, you are illiterate person, what happens with him? He, he needs, he requires only simple words, simple language, because it is his ability. Because he is a, after all, uh, illiterate person, but he knows a little bit uh, English, a little bit your language. So, uh, as well as the medium, the wrong medium, as I told you. that uh, the cell phone is effective one if you wanted to speak with your american uh, uh, friend so that that, that, is a, that is a only quick um, uh, communication method that you do it uh, uh, psychological depicts are also very important information overload is also the, the important factor in a communication barrier so these are the environmental or physical um, barriers uh, uh, the, the next one level is the organizational barriers again we are not responsible for uh, the, this one uh, the barrier types so organizational organizational structure has uh, considerable uh, influence the flow of uh, information the flow of information within an organization the uh, the organizational uh, politics or policies without concrete supporting organizational policies the communication would not be smooth in the organization look at the, the elements given by the author here Uh, a barrier may emerge if there is no uh, such type of specific uh, policies that you determine that you uh, uh, already targeted to achieve so specific for the, the, the policy is also very important so that uh, the, the organizational uh, uh, communication would be a smooth one and complicated organizational structure leads to miscommunication particularly with respect to upward communication especially you know upward downward horizontal these are the forms of communication we we'll later we will see it in in, in second unit uh what uh i say you people rules sorry complex organizational structure rules and regulations also sometimes hinder or emerge as a, as a barrier the constraints and rigidity of rules and regulations regarding communications rules of the following <clears throat> proper uh, channel superior subordinate relations etc may restrict the flow of certain messages if wherever uh, there is a hierarchy in um, uh, working system uh, there may be a sort of uh, a hindrance or maybe a sort of barriers emerge that is why uh, in, in to the, i as, as far as my knowledge in tata uh, in some tata companies there there is no any hierarchy that the company already Decide, decided to uh, break all types of hierarchy all are treated as a equal uh, employees in few companies they are just experimenting if the, 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 there is no any hierarchy what type of uh, output they get from 
the employees they wanted to know that is why uh, sometimes uh, since i think since the last year they have been uh, doing such experiment that they eradicate all types of hierarchy in a system except a few one few few except few uh, hierarchies so we have, uh, in just in, in, in such a way uh, uh, such type of administration or management or managerial system is also responsible for a uh, barriers that's all known as a organizational uh, barriers i'll look at now uh, psychological barriers or emotional barriers you can see here there are also known as a perception or personal barriers in here personal barriers the barriers are also known as a psychological uh, barriers uh, here you see that uh, uh, premature evaluation in attention distrust distrust selective listening failure to communicate group appellation uh, group appellation in the sense due to group belongingness and appellation the people reject the ideas going against the interest of the group that is a group appellation loss during transmission or uh, filtering filtering these are known as uh, the, some sort of uh, personal or psychological barrier the look at distrust this it is the very important of the element that one has to give uh, much more attention to reduce uh, distrust so trust should be there so suppose if you are distrusting distrusting on your employees there may be a emerge or it is known as also a barrier the lack of trust between communicators that is between sender and receiver is a uh, some sort of block the effective communication if you, you you don't have any uh, trust each other i mean between sender and receiver it, the, 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 the communication should be treated as a uh, sort of barrier because of distrust so distrust is known here as a barrier or obstacles or it hinders your uh, effective communication okay now let us see the last one point personal barriers are also there uh, personal barriers mean that it includes your physical uh, or your physical basically communication is the interpersonal process you know very between one person to another that is interpersonal not an intrapersonal therefore the barriers relating to persons involved in the process affects the communication therefore the barriers relating to persons involved in the process affects the communication the personal characteristics differ from person to person okay age also matters due to the age what happens I suppose if there is a your receiver is a more than 80 years uh, uh, a person he may have some sort of uh, hearing uh, disability he may not understand or he may not speak uh, loudly so that in, in that context the age also stands here as a hindrance or an obstacle educational and intellectual level different backgrounds are also very important willingness is also very important in, in communication one has to willingly uh, participate in the communication areas of interest are also important here intentions awareness motives all these things are included in a uh, personal communication barriers so attitude is also important if you, if you don't have if you have a negative attitude in your communication the negative attitude uh, also known as here the obstacle or it, it may emerge as an obstacle or a barrier one of the important barriers in your communication process so personal beliefs and values are also very important in and confidence a level or confidence if you don't have confidence so you may not, you may you may not speak you may not deliver your speech or your lecture in an effective way that the students often intended often intends intend to uh, the people intend from uh, sender so due to the lack of confidence so lack of confidence is also a type of uh, uh, one of the types of elements in a barrier in your communication okay so i hope you you, you might have understood whatever i just discussed with you people regarding communication barriers and so on so now we will turn to the next one part that is a b part it is very uh, easy one uh, uh, to understand because most of the, most of you people might have already uh, well acquainted with uh, the uh, different uh, types of written communication so written communication it may include uh, or written communication is a communication uh, which is uh, uh, in the form of written the, the writing 
for example a memos a circulars notice all uh, are known as here uh, the important aspects in written communication so a written communication means the sending of message orders or instructions in writing medium in writing through letters circulars manuals reports telegrams office memos bulletins etc all these things are all elements are aspects are uh, known as here a written communication uh, elements so it is a formal method of communication and is less flexible it is a formal when we say that formal communication there is a sort of a structure there is a sort of discipline uh, that we have to stick to these uh, discipline or uh, structure that is already uh, formed by this specific group so you may not have any flexibility in uh, this written communication so in a systematic way you have to go ahead in written communication so the structure is already a fixed one structure is already a formed one and the, the, unlike uh, the informal one uh, you cannot use informal on the structure or discipline in formal uh, communication so we have to go ahead with the uh, given structure it can also be used as a legal evidence written communication is used as a legal evidence that is an important benefit that you get you know different types of um, uh, uh, agreements on bond while exchanging uh, the, the uh, purchase letter or sales letter or in mou you know all these things are in a written form so written form uh, uh, can be used as here uh, legal documents you can use it in a court you can produce it in a court because all these things all things uh, are in written format in a written words so that because there is a signature of you people you know, both sides the sellers and receivers sorry senders and receivers so that is why it is considered as a uh, legal document you can use it in a court to to prove uh, uh, i you are right or wrong so and so things so it can also be usually as a legal evidence it is time consuming costly and unstable for confidential and emergent communication it is costly because it needs the, 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 that we have to pay while uh, making agreement while making a mou because there are some persons who authorities who 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 to uh, whom we have to pay so that is why it is a uh, uh, expensive one so written communication to be effective it should be clear it should be complete it should be concise it should be correct and it should be a corpus okay the, 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 whenever we try to write these elements should we should consider in writing our the, the, uh, uh, communication written communication so in order to get the effective or uh, the desired output from written communication you have to stick to all these uh, uh, things that we have already seen in a, in a principles of um, effective communication that it, your, your communication, communication should be a clear one it should be articulated one it should be a complete one it should be a concise one it should be a correct one so and so uh, grammatical uh, error uh, should not be there so and so things we have to uh, of consider here or whenever we um, try to uh, do written communication okay as you know that there is a fixed structure is there so suppose now we will see here uh, some sort of business letters so letters or business letters you know that in formal communication formal written communication there is a fixed structure you know uh, that you have to write your address at the corner of right side of a page that is in upper level you know variable that you have to uh, write there your address that is a sender's address should be there in a the right side uh, then uh, uh, below we have in left side uh, recipient's address should be there or should we have to write there then uh, uh, then a salutation is there uh, or before that uh, before salutation we have subject we have reference if any uh, then salutation then the body in which we have uh, some sort of introduction in uh, in the main body and detail in the context then closing it may be a close you, you should you close your letter uh, within uh, two lines again and then the last one is complimentary uh, complimentary closing and a signature 
and if any uh, 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 documents if you want to attach it there should be a enclosures or enclosure so these are the important elements that uh, generally we people uh, use uh, whenever we uh, uh, try to specific structure that is sticking to the specific structure one has to write letters so that you can uh, have a, a, a systematic um, uh, structure to these uh, elements so now let us see i'm not going to discuss in a detailed way what is meant by senders address recipients address how to write a subject a reference those, these things are very simple one you just the, the concentrate on these things i, I will let you know uh, uh, while discussing uh, how i mean writing uh, these letters so let us see now formal uh, business letters uh, the, the, i will uh, only uh, give you few examples of business letters uh, it may include sales letter it may include purchase letters it may include enquiry letters it may include complaint letters in business context especially so whatever we are now studying here that all elements uh, are uh, studied uh, only in the context of business business related uh, letters business related communication so suppose if you want to write purchase letter what is mean by purchase letter here a business purchase letter of intent outlines a proposed purchase arrangement between a buyer and a seller so when you purchase some sort of when you want to purchase some sort of um, consignments or any other goods you have to make the, the first of all uh, the, the uh, agreement before making agreement you have to send your letter to the receiver for you to the uh, uh, seller that you are a buyer so you have to search the, 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 to whom you are uh, purchasing that that mean i mean uh, the seller so purchaser and seller so purchaser here may be a stand as a, a sender and seller may be stand here as a, a receiver or vice versa at a time simultaneously you can see here so um, you see that at the decision of the buyer and seller the letter may be considered binding suppose when you write letter in the written way and that letters are, are always uh, written are in the written format so when you write you have to write in a very clear way or uh, in a very clear or in a very detailed ways should be applied detail should be there in your uh, communication in your purchase letter that at the decision of the buyer and seller the letter may be considered binding although usually the letter sets up the framework of a formal agreement that will be drafted at the later time that will be drafted at the later time in that sense when you make uh, try to make a agreement that is a final agreement uh, the uh, during the time of agreement on a bond paper your letter is considered as a your letter is considered as a legal letter legal document on the basis of your letter whatever you uh, uh, send to the uh, uh, receiver so if you are being a purchaser you if you send a letter to the uh, seller and seller again uh, response response to you so both letters should be considered or used as a legal document and one has to use it as a legal document while making agreement of purchasing of goods or whatever it may be so there is a business letter so a business purchase letter of intent is a document that allows a buyer and seller of any entity to come to an agreement over its purchase as i told you that it is agreement sort of agreement not exactly but it is a initiation level agreement purchase letter is known as a initiational or primary agreement through which you can um, concrete uh, your agreement so the document should allow the buyer and inspection period in order to prove its revenue and any other due uh, diligence as a part of the buyers overview during any contingency period 
if the letter is binding the sale is required to be completed by the end date or the buyer could lose their earnest money deposit or the buyer could lose the earnest money deposit so being a buyer you have to buy it as per the agreement whatever you uh, are going to do it whatever you are going to make your agreement after the uh, uh, purchasing letter so it is a bind it is a legal document that we have already seen it is one of the important of, uh, the characteristics of written communication legal document written communication is known as a legal document so buyer must buy as per the agreement otherwise the whatever he uh, uh, has to deposit before buying as per the agreement uh, he should lose it because the, the uh, you already uh, have written you already have mentioned in your letter or agreement that you are going to purchase it if you to some extent uh, due to some reason if you want to buy uh, as per the agreement you may not have any deposit that you claim from a receiver okay that is a purchase letter so in which way you are going to write here the only few elements uh, that, that, that i would like to uh, explain here uh, that one has to consider uh, the, the few important points that how to write the purchase letters or it may be a, a, a sell a right letter selling letters you may say so first of all you, you must consider what are the elements that i have to include in a purchase letter before making the agreement so it is a primary level legal document purchase letter means it is a primary level legal document so uh, uh, the thinking in a very uh, 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 clearly you have to write your purchase letter to uh, the uh, seller okay so first of all uh, you have to mention at the very outset at the very uh, if you have any um, uh, letter head you should, you should take it otherwise you should make it a, a plain paper uh, where you have to write in a bold way by using a different uh, uh, font size business purchase letter of intent business purchase letter of intent in that way you should give uh, uh, your label your title uh, at the very outset of uh, the letter business purchase letter in this way you have to write here business purchase letter of intent later you will see that uh, uh, date is very important the day on which you are writing the letter the day we, the day in which you are writing the letter is also very important because it should be uh, considered as a uh, the effective with effective with effective date later you will see that reference you have to mention reference here not necessary to write your subject because the subject is already converted into a title that is business purchase letter so reference here purchase of a business entity reference what here a purchase of a business entity you should write in that way so this business purchase letter of intent uh, represents the basic terms so you are now writing here what type of elements you, you have to write here you have to begin your purchase letter in this way that the business purchase letter of an intent represents basic terms agreed upon by the buyer and seller so before writing the, both uh, should be there both should be agreed either maybe maybe in the form in the medium of, of telephonic con communication or conversation but you have to agree. you must agree you must agree so after this letter of intent has been made a formal agreement may be constructed to the benefit of uh, the parties involved so you have already you know, the, the both have some some sort of uh, uh, positive way uh, positive side and that is why you are making uh, your uh, agreement that is why you are writing a letter so buyer also will have some sort of advantages uh, by this uh, agreement and as well as seller will have also uh, advantages by selling his goods so on the advantage uh, without advantages or benefits no one can sell on the, his or her uh, consignments or any gadget or whatever it may be so thinking on that level if purchase you have to agree first of all so one by one now we will see that uh, what are the elements that you have to include that you have to write in, in your uh, letter so first of all the buyer title there that the buyer 
semicolon write the name of the buyer then in second point seller that is the, the seller write the name of the seller so in this way the, the, if you are a buyer you write your name and uh, in, in in seller uh, uh, title you should write uh, to whom you are going to purchase that is the who are your seller so both names should be there at the very outset of the letter so now you should uh, write the business name whatever it may be the name of the business because now you are purchasing so your name should be there your company name should be there that because you are purchasing uh, writing for purchase letter okay and uh, then purchase price that you already agreed uh, it may be on the basis of face to face communication or on the basis of communication uh, or telephone communication whatever it may be but purchase price should be clearly clearly mentioned if there is any variation if there are uh, some other uh, details you should mention all the consignment's name and write before uh, the price each and every uh, product product price should be a, a different one so clearly mention there in your purchase price then real estate located that is the address you should uh, mention there then legal uh, description whatever the the the, the description, description is there uh, regarding the consignment or regarding the purchasing goods you should mention there purchase price once again the total price should be there okay uh, then uh, you also mentioned financing the buyer has made it known that this letter of intent is not conditional on their ability to obtain financing later you will see that binding effect how many days are there within that or during the period on or before you are going to buy you are going to purchase from the seller so detailed discussion should be there uh, that the letter of intent uh, that shall be considered a binding therefore the parties acknowledge that remedies at law will be inadequate for any breach of this agreement and or any break of this agreement and consequently agree that this agreement shall be enforceable by a specific performance so such type of the, the, the thing is there you should first of all study it you should first of all read it and then only uh, involve it so um, bank accounts details should be uh, mentioned the seller uh, uh, what the bank account should be there a formal agreement when you are going to uh, um, make uh, the agreement a seller's conduct then the closing is there so in this way these are the very the, the, um, uh, major elements either it may be a major or minor but all elements should be uh, registered should be in the form of a written so because of uh, um, clear uh, if you clearly mention all the elements related to your purchase or sale uh, it would be better for you to um, uh, execute your um, purchasing uh, uh, agreement so clear clearly you should mention in your uh, letter okay there are a number of uh, factors or elements are involved in this uh, purchase letter but just i told you that the important or major elements that one has to write or include in a purchase letter okay so without including these elements you cannot and will not try to buy because whatever you are going to write in purchase letter all these things are legally bound elements so think on first of all is concentrate on your agreement concentrate on your purchase letter and then only you write so first of all you try to confuse your message and then only you begin to write okay so anyway now we will see uh, later you know that uh, in, the, in the concluding uh, concluding part you have to mention uh, the seller's name seller's signature should be there seller's date on which you are uh, 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 purchasing uh, uh, that including name and signature should be there uh, then buyer who are the buyer i mean you are the buyer and that is why you are writing uh, the purchase letter so the clear only uh, you should mention uh, both the party's name that is you are a seller so you should mention your uh, the clear address with a uh, signature due signature and simultaneously you have to 
at the same time we have to mention uh, the seller's name okay so in this way you should conclude uh, your uh, letter uh, the purchase letter okay then now we will see a uh, business letter sales letter the exact opposite of the thing is there business sales letter here so you are a sales letter is a return pitch to attract potential customers so you are a seller so you, when you want to sell your goods or consignments or any gadgets to this customer you have to write in a such a way that uh, the reading your letter the purchaser must purchase so such a letter should be there such a language should be used in your uh, a letter so such a way uh, uh, the effective way should be used to advertise your uh, goods or consignment then only you can achieve your uh, desired output and you can definitely uh, 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 sell your goods in a limited time so effectiveness uh, sh should be there in your uh, letter that is my intention to say to you people so a sales letter is a written pitch to attract potential customers to a product or service whatever you are uh, selling there uh, uh, your uh, you should be uh, attracted uh, by giving your product uh, details and by giving your service details and so on and so so that the customers can attract to you uh, to buy uh, your services your products the goal of a sales letter is to show a customer what is the intention or what is the goal of the uh, your uh, uh, sales uh, letter here to only uh, catch or uh, attract the customer that is how your business will benefit them that we have to mention in your letter that the goal of a sales letter is to show a customer you are showing your customer that how your business will benefit to them to the customer so you show the beneficial or the, the, the beneficiary or the advantages of uh, uh, the buyer so when a consumer thinks about meeting their needs they are less focused on the idea of a business a transaction which can lead to a sale so maximally most of the times happens in, in, in the same way that uh, the, the seller uh, the, the cannot include uh, the, the important factors that they uh, through which they can attract uh, the buyer so the, the highlight or concentration much concentration should be uh, given on uh, the uh, advantages that you are going to give to your buyer so uh, let us see uh, the how you are going to write uh, uh, sales letters so at the very outset this is the, the, this structure has, it is it has a some sort of unique structure it, it, it differs from uh, purchase uh, structure of letter writing so here at the outset uh, you should write again from being a seller you should write your address then to as usual you have to address to whom you are uh, sending your letter to whom you are targeted groups to whom you are considered as a buyer you should write uh, the address of your buyer or targeted group or the targeted customers to whom you are sending this sales letter so from and uh, to is there as usual that you know very well uh, prati and prashita sapnamanti in marathi and you should also mention the date it is date is a very important factor uh, that uh, the play crucial role in any agreement or uh, in your uh, job so now i'll uh, uh, look at here uh, how uh, the author has prepared one good um, sales letter you just concentrate on my reading uh, as usual you have to uh, stick to uh, the, the, the structure of the um, letter that is uh, the body of the letter so there is no change in the structure of the letter that i already discussed with you people so right now after uh, the subject and reference uh, you mentioned there that the dear sir or dear madam whoever may be considering your uh, uh, purchaser should write in that way dear sir respected sir madam it depends on uh, the customer who are your customer later you will see that uh, now you begin that you just introduce yourself that what who are you and what type of uh, consignments you are uh, going to sell there or what type of new product you are launching there and so on so you will be uh, there so i would like to introduce our uh, uh, the product that you just mentioned there in this way you begin i would like to introduce so in which way you are beginning your um, sales letter the letter should be begin with saying that 
I would like to introduce our company and our company products that we mentioned here. We are in the business of. We are in the business of which it may be a, a food item, maybe a kitchenery item, it may be a, a, a home appliances a, a company or business. So we are in the business. You mentioned there whatever I just told you. Your business will, uh, whatever it may be, we are glad to inform you about the good quality and reputation of our products. You begin in this way that you, you are exaggerating. You are not exaggerating here, but you are just simply uh, mentioning your the quality of your products that you produce in your company. So in order to sell your products in consignment, you have to refer in that way. You have to mention in that way that it. Uh, we are glad to inform you. So we are glad we are happy to say you we are happy to convey you about our products in that way you should mention there so we are glad to inform you about the good quality and reputation of our uh, products reputation of our products in the sense you are already um, you have already um, the, the, what should i say here some sort of brand in a market so you, so you should mention there so brand always effect or give us you uh, some sort of good effect on customer. So it will be our pleasure to about, uh, it will be pleasure to provide you products that meet your needs at reasonable price. So we have a quality, we have a brand that we already developed, but at the same time, we, we are going to give you, uh, we are going to deliver you or sell you uh, such a brand in a affordable price, in a reasonable price. In this way, you mentioned there, because you are selling your product so minimum what should be used in your the, the selling letter. You don't say everything that you are going to include in your uh, about your consignment. You don't go in that way. You just mention that how you are maintaining your quality, how you are created your um, uh, brand in a market, and how you are giving your service in the market to the direct customer. How your outlets are there, how many outlets are there, and how you are providing it, how you are selling it in the affordable uh, cost in a reasonable price. So this is the introduction of your um, letter. So in this way, you begin the letter that mentioning all these uh, uh, major elements. Now you see that our new launch, you also mentioned the new launch, uh, the consignment or thing that we produce now just, uh, and you wanted to sell it in a market. So launching should be there. So our new launch is, you just mentioned the launch is uh, that uh, the, the pickle, you just mentioned whatever you uh, produce there, it carries, good quality you mentioned their features of your characteristics or characteristics of the particular goods later you should mention that you will get the best deal in the market with us you will get the best deal with us in the market in this way you mentioned there now you close your 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 sales later you don't as i told you already that you should your your, your letter should be a concise one okay so we are experiencing a positive response. For further details and demonstrations, please feel free to contact our customer relationship manager at give your uh, telephone number or, or a cell number. If you if you if the, the buyer has any doubt or cynics in his mind or her mind, uh, he may contact to you people. So that is why you provide. That is why you mention your telephone number of your concerned authority or concerned person who uh, the, the look uh, uh, such a uh, uh, who resolve such a doubts or cynics of a customer so give the number that the, the, that is your uh, duty to mention your uh, number or your any 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 email or any any fax through which you wanted to communicate with your customer so in this way you write your uh, uh, sales letter so let us you say that as usual, well, you should consider that uh, you should complete your thanking you, your sincerely, and mention your name and uh, sign there. So this is a very easy and effective uh, the, the the structure of a sales letter. In purchase letter, you have to mention in detailed way. But in a sale letter, in sales letter, not necessarily go ahead in that. Way. Okay, this is the, the structure of specimen copy that I just delivered before you. Uh, uh, now I would like to go ahead with the a new one a letter that is the inquiry letter for business that is the inquiry 
so when you wanted to buy something uh, from the company that you don't want either you, you don't know whether you are going to buy it or not but you wanted to inquire it in order to buy uh, from the uh, particular company or from a particular grocery or whatever it may be or from the agency okay so you have to inquire even so while inquiry writing an inquiry letter there is no any change in structure that as usual you have to mention your address or to whom you to whom you are sending your letter that again subject if again reference if there is any uh, and again you uh, say uh, that a uh, salutation and then you begin that dear sir, sir whatever it may be dear madam in this way so in inquiry letters are written for the purpose of asking for something from the recipient to whom you are sending or to who are you whom you are going to buy you are asking some sort of cynics doubts that you lie in your mind regarding most of the times a new products or the, the products price if it is affordable if it is reasonable for you, you you wanted to buy it but before that you wanted to take all the details uh, of, of purchasing details so you are inquiring here so before sending your inquiry you should be certain that the information is not available through other means such as the company website so that, that that one has to give the attention so before writing letters uh, to the particular company uh, if there is any availability of uh, 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 the details regarding uh, the concern made that you are going to inquire now so sometimes what happens in a company or in, in a company website we have uh, they provide all the details regarding their uh, the product regarding their services regarding their company and so on and so on. if there is no any uh, the information available at uh, the uh, the site of web, uh, company website then only you uh, uh, try to write a letter to the company as an inquiry letter so how to write a letter of inquiry is very important a letter of inquiry is a letter written to inquire about something that you want to know just i discussed it with you people so i don't want to go ahead in that way so now we will see here um, uh, the uh, what uh, the, the structure of the business letter sorry as uh, inquiry letter so as usually you write your address sender receiver subject reference and so on so in subject letter subject matter you should write there this this inquiry for bulk purchase of uh, uh, fabrics or whatever it may be that you wanted to uh, buy it may be a sarees it may be a foods goods it may be a, a food items it may be a, a home appliances whatever it may be you just write there so business inquiry for bulk purchase of dot 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 that you wanted today or according to the asked question in your examination you should change it that business inquiry for bulk purchase of dot 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 so again you begin uh, salutation is there sir madam whatever it may be i am writing in regard to our intention to buy cloth materials in bulk but, but before that i think so here you just introduce yourself what type of company is there what type of uh, grocery is there uh, what is your business so you mentioned there since the 1990s uh, we have our own uh, owned um, a showroom in uh, rajanpuri kolapur so and so forth so you mentioned you just give your introduction a little bit information you should provide to the uh, particular company so that they can understand that you uh, you have uh, your own um, uh, market you have your own customers and you wanted to deal with the customer and you wanted to buy really buy wanted to buy uh, the goods that the company a particular company is going to produce or uh, they are producing uh, nowadays so introduce yourself yourself in that sense you, you introduce your um uh, the shop in which through which you can uh, wanted to uh, sell so you mentioned there i am writing in regard to our intention to buy cloth materials in bulk so in bulk level whenever you wanted uh, whenever the customer wanted to buy in a bulk level only uh, uh, that time uh, by the buyer inquiries so i came across to a store and we had a talk with your supply manager in this regard so in fact we see that already uh, the sender is uh, uh, communicated with the uh, particular uh, concerned authority in that particular company but he wanted to now know only the price so i on um, here you have a look at the sort of introduction uh, you write there that uh, how you are needy how you are required such a good brand based uh, product or service so i am in need of materials you, you show that your eagerness that i am in need of um, uh, materials that would be uh, suitable for uh, uh, sarees salwar suits and uh, lehengas etc etc i am looking for uh, crafty 
डबल ग्रैटिट्यूड लिनन कॉटन सिल्क कॉटन जूट ब्रासो सिल्क एंड अदर मटेरियल्स एक्सेट्रा so in this way you clearly mention there what type of goods or uh, you are going to buy there so they the clear mention that sarees salwar kurtis uh, uh, what type of material you need to also so mention there it would be a great help if you could send me the colors and patterns available in these uh, categories that you just mentioned there uh, it would be a great pleasure or great help if you could send me the colors and patterns available in these categories and also the pricing details for each so nowadays you know that the, the whatsapp the, 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 the whatsapp medium is social medium is very important uh, medium through which now one can buy and sell uh, by uh, showing all the items the, in a visible way so the, the considering the whatsapp or any other the gimbal communication or any other effective method here uh, the buyer wanted to enquiries uh, if he shows with the colors and that he mentioned in the category he would be very grateful to you so after uh, observing the colors and the, the material which uh, the company used regarding the, the, the clothes or the ready made material uh, he will decide so you write there that i would also like to know if it is possible for you to customize colors and patterns for me so in this way you just write there so once i have a look at the different patterns and colors you have sent to me as upon layer you should also write in that it is a concluding part why once i have a look at the different patterns and colors you have i will let you know uh, the ones for which you can send me samples i will meet you in person to discuss the final pricing and the quantity of different fabrics so feel free to contact me in case of any questions in sorry any queries or any question you should provide your number too so this is the, the ending thanking you or thank you you are sincerely a signature is there and again name is there so it is complete later so in this way you write your enquiry later it is easy one easy to understand you to write easy to the, the, make your agreement with the um, seller okay i hope uh, you 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 might have understood all the elements whatever i discussed in uh, today's session okay so with these uh, words or with uh, with these uh, two elements or the sub uh, points of uh, unit number 1 i declare here that i completed unit number first uh, titled as meaning importance and objects or objectives of business communication and written communication so both a and b uh, uh, parts are uh, Uh, I, I i dealt with you people so uh, is is there any any um, doubts or cynics in your mind hello are you there yes sir uh, uh, have you got my all points uh, if uh, if you are not having all uh, had my all points you should raise any question regarding uh, the, the unit number 1 and later i will let you know i will be i will let you know uh, when will we are going to arrange the second uh, lecture or second contact session for unit number 2 3 4 and so on so because uh, you know the, the, the syllabus is very vast one so i am not uh, going to complete within a hour and a half an hour uh, you know the, the one unit so it requires more time to me i think so anyway um, we'll discuss it later uh, is there any problem or any any doubts question in your mind no sir uh, sir yacha uh, study material kay milel ka Yeah, we are going to sell. That is all. Soon you will have uh, a hard copies within two or three days, uh, maybe. I think so. All the books are in pipe, uh, pipes. Okay. Okay. Two three days, ma. That is my only material. A hard copy, maybe. Two three days, maybe. Uh, if uh, there is not possible to send uh, or provide you in hard copy, you will you you may have uh, uh, very soon uh, soft copies at least. Okay. No issue, sir. Uh, so, uh, so so i think uh, uh, any any other uh, student uh, arpita is also there ashish is also there uh, damini bhagyasri bhakti harsh muskan om a number of students are there prakash ya piyush are you there all of you are 
in present in today's session snail is there siddhi is there shresh is there are you there all of you are uh, to whom i am addressing with your name hello, hello. yes sir uh, yes sir yes. hello uh, uh, yes yes you are there uh, have you any uh, any difficulties or doubts no sir no no any doubt yes sir no any or if you have any doubts hello 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 sir yes priya speaker हा सर हे विचारायचं होतं की पेपरचं स्ट्रक्चर कसं असेल म्हणजे सगळे क्वेश्चन थेरॉटिकल असणार आहेत की काही ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह वगैरे काही असणार आहेत दॅट विल बी कम्युनिकेटेड लेटर ऑन ओके ठीक आहे सर स्पेशल पर्पज स्पेशल सेशन विल बी कंडक्टेड फॉर द क्वेश्चन पेपर स्ट्रक्चर हां ठीक आहे एनी मोर क्वेश्चन सर दिस वाज अ ग्रेट लेक्चर we understand the topics thank you sir no question okay thank you so much for attending the full session thank you so much thank you sir for uh, arranging this lecture thank you all and everyone thank you thanks today's second session will be not possible due to an ability of the teacher who is going to teach you it or management so that should be rearranged very soon okay thank you then left now today session is over thank you thank you sir